It's always good to be back in Subnautica. For now the third episode, I believe. Let's get into it. Let's twist the snap of my fingers. Perfect, we're back. So, today we have a message. Uh, is it the sunbeam? Yeah, it's a sunbeam. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. That only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Hey, good, good. Meh. They'll die. Probably. What are we needing today? We're gonna build a moon pool to customize our dudes. We're gonna build a little bit of a prawn suit. Which I will look now how you do a prawn suit. And then we'll also check out a place where my friend recommended to look for enamel glass, plasteel ingot, lead arrow gel. I don't know where to find arrow gel. I have a feeling I'm not gonna find that right now. Yes, yet, but we need one more ingredient for the. Uh, thing. I'm just chicken uh, a lot of stuff. I want a base, which we should probably begin starting on. Still, we should power cells. Yes, it is. So, I have this, and the think the thought is to start a moon pool. For that, we need a lot of titanium. The thing is, the only thing I'm pretty scared to go behind the giant fucking spaceship because I, from previous experience, I know that there's a fucking um, big wormy boy there. Uh, now we have the enameled glass, which is good. We are on our way to get our boy. Yes, again. Um, then we need some lead, and I should be able to craft lubricant as well in the big area over here. Because this area is perfect. I love this area. Now, it's not going to have any breathability. If I'm honest, I really want to pull up with the, with my cyclops and a prawn suit at the same time. Am I missing copper ore? Oh, I put out gold. Waste materials on only one when you can have two. Great idea. All primary systems online. You're very slow with saying that. We're gonna search for a little bit of aerogel. And we should find rubies. Kinda in the way behind Aurora. Oh, far bit behind Aurora. Now the thing is, I need some Cyclops engine fragment, I feel. Uh, now, finally, we can go <laughs> check on the air. Uh, trying to find some arrow gel. There's one of the bases. It's definitely important. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I forgot about that. 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yeah, I maybe should have done a rebreather. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she is told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People seconds. always do. 
I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, Welcome aboard, remote, Captain. testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad. I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. New blueprint acquired. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So... I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh. Ah, oh, God. We never lost now. What? I know it was single, but I'm gonna put a marker there because it was a really cool place. And I feel like we're gonna have to revisit that place. Oh shit, that, that shook me into the right place, my mind. Oh god. Why weren't I th think? Oh, oh, I just crashed into the wall and I thought it was. Um, there it is, there it is, boys and girls. It's a cyclone engine fragment. 
Three more of those. Oh shit. I thought it was just one. There they are. More engine parts. Cyclone engine fragment. Is that another? It is. It is. We have a Cyclops part. Boys, we have the parts for the Cyclops. <gasps> Grappling arm. Yes, 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 yes. We could do a prawn suit. That's actually good. Seal this door. I'll open this door. Here's some data box. Repulsion cannon. Great. That's all good. We have the grappling arm. Here's a drill part. Perfect. I love it. Psychum docking bay repair module. Great, but I already have the repair. The grappling arm. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's good. Uh, great. Good. I, I have everything I need from that ship. I, it was the idea to go to that ship. Uh, let's just look around oh, the mountains. Could we, we're gonna need it. More gel sacks and more of these. It's a torpedo. Great. Why not? Is that how they're supposed? Yeah, that's how they're supposed. Okay. That's kind of weird. Dry land. I guess we're going to the other land planet. I guess we're going to the other. Oh uh, yes, we're going to the other island. It wasn't the idea, but sure as hell become the idea. Log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida. The cut price mercenary are commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators, fresh food. No building materials, nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Maida, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit- After all that time in the deep, I've been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, the 
There's always the view. Yeah. <laughs> Just staying positive. Welcome One hour later. Cannot build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. Yeah, yeah. What if I turn a little bit like this? I just needed to fucking change. Yeah. It's designed to be operated by a three person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. That's bad. Oh, my submarine. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Great. You know what? That's really easy to do. But just look at this fella. Who the fuck is hitting me so much? I love this. Rigged for silent running. This is beautiful. Truly beautiful. I love it. So the prawn suit. Aerogel, which I can make easily. A few moments later. I can make the thing now. I can do it. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. <laughs> feel limitless power. Oh god. Prawn. Welcome aboard, Captain. Damn well I am. Oh yes, I have my prawn suit and now I shall do everything. Okay, one last thing is the modification station. Now that I built that, I really want to get access to another, some other stuff. A few moments later. Then I should also be able to do the indoor grobit. Should you do the indoor? Guys, more titania. Bruh, moment. Now, one last thing I should take around. What? Why are we in emergency power only? Are we already out of battery? How do I build one of these advanced firing kits, titanium? How do I do advanced firing kits? Oh, I need two of these. Uh, God. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Seek fluid intake. I wonder how long this will take. 
because I'll probably also just make new ones. This is life pod seven. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Well, that wasn't. Corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Yeah. Was I thinking that was a sunbeam all this time? And then it wasn't even the sunbeam. Well, at least we did something this episode. We did build all the stuff as needed. And uh, I'm honestly quite proud of the progress. It only took two hours. Um. We have a prawn suit, we have a cyclops, we have the engine upgrades and stuff like that. We have a modification station, which I should use. So, look at our boy. He's perfect. The bigger blue. And then the seam mark is gonna get a revamp once I get that stuff we're doing. So, that is it folks for today, be sure to like and subscribe if you watch this far, and I'll see you tomorrow.